Good morning, everyone. It's Benicia, your community outreach specialist for the Pasco Sheriff's Office. I just want to come on here very briefly, give you an intro, let you know that today you are going to be seeing a DERT training. That's D-E-R-T, our Deployable Emergency Response Team, and they are doing a simulated training today. So what our DERT team does, they're able to provide aid in emergency situations in which typical traditional resources wouldn't be beneficial or effective. So we're going to be heading out in a convoy very soon, but a side note from like a PIO perspective, in our office we sent out what's called a media alert to all of the media stations um, in our region to let them know, hey, this is a simulated training going on, so if you get any tips about oh, something's going down in Pasco. There's nothing going down, because it is kind of odd to see all of these specialty vehicles driving through town, because we are going from Lando Lakes to Dade City, so it is a pretty lengthy drive. It may take us about an hour to get where, exactly where we're going, but just to kind of ease the worry and stresses for the media, the tips that they get in, and the civilians as well. So stay tuned, let's see what we can get into. Later on in the day, our emergency management director, Shan Russell, who you guys should all know, because I've done I think a couple of videos with her like a year and a half ago, she will be talking to the media and explaining what the DIRT team does and why they're needed and about each of the vehicles that we have out today. So I will also get a clip of that. I'm hoping that I can get in the right spot. Let's just stay tuned and see what we can get into. <laughs> so can you explain what's um, happening here today? This is our deployable emergency response team belongs to the sheriff's office. It consists of the equipment that you see here, several high water vehicles, the five ton vehicles uh, and uh, Humvees and a mobile kitchen and the mobile command bus that you see behind me. All of these are assets that the sheriff uses to uh, set up a, a command post on scene somewhere. We've used the command bus even just last week in support of the Amber Alert. We deployed most of this equipment to areas such as the Panhandle post Hurricane Michael. We've also used some of these vehicles like the five tons to deliver supplies or help rescue people, uh, even within Pasco County and some of our low lying areas that have a tendency to flood after heavy weather. Uh, we also have a mobile kitchen that we can take with us to prepare our own food, especially if we're going into a devastated area. That way we're not a burden to the local community and we can provide for ourselves. The idea is that we come as a self-sustaining force to support the community wherever they need us. A lot of this equipment is purchased through a program with the uh, Defense Logistics Agency. It's an opportunity for local law enforcement to purchase equipment from the Department of Defense uh, at a very reduced cost so that we have access to some of our uh, a heavier equipment. We also have some equipment that's uh, been used on SWAT callouts, and our, our special weapons and tactics team have used those for the safety of our of our personnel as well. So training today is an effort to make sure that all of the equipment works, that it's ready to deploy in case we need it, to make sure that everybody on the team knows how to use it, to make sure that we're ready, uh, especially in advance of hurricane season. I know it's only February, but. Uh, hurricane season will be here very quickly and we want to make sure that we're ready to go. The team trains monthly to make sure that all the equipment is up and running uh, and to work together as a team. Community deputies are part of this team. This team is a force of 20. It's divided into two teams and they are on call for one month at a time and they switch back and forth. So even months and odd months, either our black team or our gold team, each team is made up of 10 people. <laughs> Not only is the team set up to work within Pasco County, uh, but also for all of our mutual aid organizations and the relationships that we have with other counties throughout the state through the Florida Sheriff's Association and any other agencies that may need our support. So you guys are just to clarify, you are able to go to any part of Florida? Any part of Florida. Anywhere that it's been requested. Those requests will come through the state. Uh, emergency operations center if they were to need support and they would call us and we'd be able to respond absolutely and we have mm -hmm. okay everyone so i hope you enjoyed what you got to see of the dirt training today um i hope what emergency management director russell explained kind of made it clear for you guys so the thing is that we want to be as self-sufficient as possible as to not impose on the community no matter where we go to provide 
aid and help in emergency situations. So I think it's absolutely incredible. So do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But look at the sweet pole yeah. fish. Yeah. Well, June will be here before you know. Is that when you do a lot of stuff in June? Well, typically we try and be ready for the storm season. Oh, gotcha. Because your emergency response. I'm sorry. Right. How excited are you right I'm now? I'm so excited. <laughs> Stinger, you too? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>